In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. That's right, we have a Shota and some kind of Amazonist warrior showed up. What's going on? This is just the goddess's plane? Like, what is this? And that's true. We heard her voice. Does that mean anything? Because she's like, oh, gotcha, found you. So Makuto heard that. Does that mean anything? Is that because we had an initial contract with her where she kind of like gave us the power to like speak, you know, non-tongue? I don't know. Can they hear us? They can't hear us. Damn, she can almost pierce it? Yo. Like, that's the finger. Like, you, if you want to fucking use the bow with, like, the finger, like, what's going on? What, do we got some different weapon? <laughs> Why? Why did she summon us? Didn't she accidentally summon us? <laughs> Guided by the moon? <laughs> Dude, she thinks we're a chimera? Dude, he's, look at the collar. That collar is bigger than his head. Uh oh It's sided with the demons instead of humans. So these are actual humans, but they decided with the demons after getting powers from the god. What? But the goddess... These are the goddess's agents. The goddess's agents are siding with the demons? What? Siding with the demons means that we are her enemy? Because we are demi-beast? I don't, I don't know what faction the demons really are here, honestly. Like... This is very confusing because it says that, you know, they're, they're humans, they're goddesses, you know, warriors, but they're with the demons. And suddenly now we are... I, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know! I don't get it either! They think he's with the goddess? I thought that they're on the goddess's side. I thought these people are straight up some, like, sent by the goddess. So the goddess is like, all right, Makoto, I found you, motherfucker. Now fight my warriors. But that's not the case at all. That's not it. I see. The goddess just happened to find these people that are siding with the demons. And now the goddess is like, all right, Makoto, go fight them. Fuck you. That's what's happening right now. I see. I thought the goddess specifically sent her, like, you know, soldiers after Makoto. Okay, okay, okay. Was an army? Of demons? If there was ever a scenario where we would have to fight against the demons or the humans to pick a side, I don't like, I don't really like the humans. To be honest, I kind of wanted to side with the demons, but we'll have to let it cook. So like, if we somehow successfully fend these people off, doesn't that mean we're like the champions of humans? So we accidentally just become like, like the savior of these humans that we technically hate? Can we? We can't use Mist Portal, can we? Can we? No? I see, they would follow us. Whoa! It's red now! This is a speed, right? It's like different uh, uh, forms. Oh, late. The animation's going crazy. Machine gun breathe and then run, but... Man, that breed just stays there? It just continues to shoot? Huh. So Mitsurugi uses those like mineralists, right? Okay, okay, okay. Hi, hi. She swapped places! Dude, our barrier gets broken? You know, in times of emergency, last episode they did say randomly Mio's or, you know, uh, Tomoe's or even Shiki's power could arise, so... Come on, something? Basic abilities are freakish because the stats are insane. Goddess's protection. I'm always a little bit for, um, confused about what this like protection really means. It sounds like you know the humans have goddess's protection, but like, did we really get the protection? So when we received the power to speak, you know, demi human, demi like monster, demi people language, is that count as a protection or is this like a separate thing? What's that ring? What the fuck is that ring? They got rings too? Huh? But like, did we ever have the goddess's protection? Because I feel like she hates us, so she wouldn't give us the protection. 
So what if that just did nothing? I'm not sure. Let's see. Do we, do we actually get protection? Eee, we don't have that shit, right? Did they just fucking waste the ring? Because that ring went on and it just like broke. So they just did all that for nothing? They okay. She hates us, dude. So because she summoned here, summoned us here, they're like suspicious thinking that we should have the protection. Wait, wait, wait. Does this mean that the goddess like acknowledges our strength? Because like this is a battle between the humans and the demons. The goddess obviously has some vested interest in the humans. You would want someone pretty strong to fight against the demon people, right? So the fact that the goddess sent us instead of anyone else, doesn't that mean that she kind of like trusts us to a degree or is she here to just like fuck around and just like <laughs> fucking monkey here go fight them i hope you're gonna die i'm not sure she just randomly she want to test us what is this but like the fact that she probably wants to kill each other implies that she acknowledges Makoto's strength to the point where she can, he can kill like this this Mitsurugi guy and the girl, right? That that I think they're at some level. The goddess acknowledges our strength and is basically just throwing us in there, even though you know we shouldn't be her champion. Sophia Burga. Sophia Burga. Sophia Burga. Do we know this name from before? Burga. The, I Dragon Slayer. No, it's like in, in the first couple episodes when we were doing the power scaling, you know, leveling up stuff like... Is this the adventure they mentioned? This is her, right? Because when Tomoe and Emil was getting their scrolls to get their level, we heard of some kind of legendary dragon slayer or something, right? So this is her. Okay, okay! Mitsurugi. Okay. Lancer too. Yeah! So even her caricature here, the sword right there, the eyes, it was all there. These are some serious contestants, man. We're a, we're a merchant. Yes, we're a humble merchant, not a warrior, not an adventurer. Nope, nothing. For some reason. What reason is it, though? So regular adventurers that sided with the demons for some reason. Some reason that ha maybe has to do with how shitty the goddess really is and how shitty the humans are? I'm not sure. Hmm. Mitsurugi is a supreme dragon, like La Tomoe? Lancer. That was the name. Oh, that was the name. And that's why he's like talking to Makoto right now and like kind of like explaining it. I see, I see, I see. Sophia Bulga, the Dragon Slayer, and Lancer was the other competitor dragon rival that was like introduced in the earlier episodes. Damn, they set this shit up. Damn, for them to show up in finale. No, 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 chill, chill, chill. We don't have the goddess's protection. We never had it. Oh. Demon Lord Aura? Wait, wait, wait! All the limiters are off? Yo! That red aura looks fucking lit! The fingers though, dude. We still don't have fingers. Uchine? What, what's an Uchine? What about your finger? Alright! Fuck the fingers! They don't even know where it's coming. It said it hits your mark. Oh, it splits into multiple? <laughs> okay, whenever you see animation like this, <laughs> whenever you get hit by something and then suddenly the colors like disappear, <laughs> you dead. Oh, lo okay, suddenly we're just destroying them. It's because of the fucking rings. We were limited, of course, because they're supposed to store the fucking mana. And we have so many rings, too. And we have the code. What happens if we take all our fucking rings off, just throw out these fuckers, take our jacket off, too? Isn't that like when we get naked, like, all our limiters are off? Cursed? I don't know, but she hates us. Why did he just assume that we were cursed by the goddess right here? Why did he just say that? He's gotten stronger. Where is his power coming from? Why would he assume this right now? Has he been cursed by the goddess? Because they got stronger after they got rid of the goddess's blessing, which technically nothing happened. So they're still not aware that, you know, those rings, everything, it's just like our limiter. We never had the blessing. They think that they used the fucking ring and then it just exploded. And so they have no fucking clue right now. All right, all right. 
He has a counter against water, yeah? Two spells that the same elements collide. So he mains water as well. So, okay. So when two elements like this collide, it just bubbles up and then what? No way! Hold up! His affinity for water is greater! <laughs> It reacted? What object? The sword? Is your sword reacting to us? <laughs> but... Okay, before we get to this, go back. What is this thing? I know that they just made it for us, and before we were using that like an arrow, right? So the 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 the, the, the fucking dwarves, the elden, the elder dwarves fucking used it, right? And then here, we didn't use this as the arrow. It just stays there. What the fuck is this thing? It's just kind of just it's our, it's it's our weapon. It's our temporary weapon that just makes us. I don't I don't know. He did. It just looks like it's remaining on his arm, right? Look 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 look. look, look. I don't know. He's still holding it here. See, he, he held it on his on his right. It's 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 not. It's just a tool. It's just a tool to kind of just like use it. But now he's able to fucking use it as a fucking like a melee weapon. So even here, see, even here we use the water arrow. I don't think we really got like an explanation for the weapon, but. Huh. But remember, we main water. Water is our best affinity. And then Sophia Bulga comes in. Are we an object? Is, is, is she just objectified us? Huh? Now we use her tool. What? What? No! It broke! The sword fucking cracked! What? Why is he yelling like we just kicked him in the nuts? Is the sword and him related? Because you said, give, back, give me back the sword, right? There was some dialogue before. The dragon boy was like, I'll give me back the sword or some shit. So he is the sword? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but your fucking wooden little stick with whatever spearhead this is is fucking insane. The red thing here probably indicates that we have put in mana, right? Because remember the stones, it turns into red if it's a lot of mana. Not just any dwarven weapon. Elden dweller weapon. Elder dweller. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Okay, we're fan service time. Titty suffocate? Ah, ah, oh, she's serious. Oh, this isn't fan service. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Bear hug. Because she keeps getting swapped with those, you know, those mineral things, right? What you doing? More breather. Those breeds from above. Oh! Six rings! Six rings worth! Dude! That's gotta be the strongest attack so far, right? Oh. It's like actually descending from the fucking heavens right now. Six rings worth the fucking. Oh my. The demon army and the human army. Are we, are we straight up just killing both armies at the same time? Is this thing God is watching this? Oh my god. Straight up Thor's hammer shit just descends from the heavens. Oh, where'd he go? Oh. They all just go. Two rings. <laughs> Three rings. Four rings. <laughs> no, that was the entire battlefield. That was the entire fucking battlefield. Stop. One of the coolest shit is when it expands and it contracts. Boom. She's naked. She's naked. Yeah, her armor's been destroyed. Come on. Let I know you're naked. Come on, closer. No, he's the main character. We have season two, don't you know? Cause like two of them, this is probably insane, huh? Cause like they're just like getting ready to fight the humans. Like demons versus humans, they're getting ready. Then suddenly the fucking divine light shows up. The goddess summons her best champion. And they're like, what the fuck is this guy? He just shows up, destroys both sides of the armies, and just leaves without explaining. <laughs> and like, they're probably thinking, what the fuck just happened? He's just a simple merchant. 
He just a simple merchant. I wonder if this place will be used as like a natural resort from, from now on. I don't know. He just basically just wiped them out. It's just a cool, I don't know, fucking lake, something like that. Bro just leaves. All right. So he subcon. <laughs> Did he subconsciously just use mist gate or some shit? When he was falling down? Look at it. Look, look, look. Hello. Rembrandt. Battle for Fort Stella. Oh, that was the battle for Fort... Right! Because Rembrandt was straight up talking about a war about to happen last episode. I'm like, what the fuck? There's a war between the demons and humans going on? I see, I see. That was directly that. The goddess's third disciple? Who's the first and second? First of all, we're not her fucking disciple. She fucking sucks. But this implies that there's two more disciples. Who are these people? The, 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 they probably actually have the goddess's protection, right? Unlike, unlike Makoto, but okay. Kind of getting hype. A maze dressed in red. Well, I guess like they would never know because our, you know, our fucking outfit, our coat is usually blue. So I don't think Rembrandt's ever seen the color red before, right? That's right. Lancer and Sophia Bulga. Why did they side with the demons, I wonder? I just wanted to see a scene where the goddess is like pissed off that she, like we ended up killing the humans as well. Foreshadowing that Mio will get something on, you know, the, the goddess in the future? Yo, what about your fingers? More mana? You wanna use more mana? But we were straight up like preventing, you know, training, you, you know, how, how we like apparently commit suicide by, you know, disappearing all our mana to that focus in the archery. I thought we were banned from doing that because the girls are gonna cry. How much does a goddess know? We never get like a perspective of a goddess, you know, some kind of monologue. Bro, Shiki's right there. You don't have to just like, like, this is kind of fucked. Shiki's right there. Come on, like, we know he's not as strong, but you don't have to say this in front of him. Trying to act cool. Little Tomoe. Little Tomoe. Fragment. Approach. Oh, it's another one! She looks even tinier. She's even tinier. And her hair color is like the, the one before was like more blue. This is more greenish, huh? Oh. So if she dies and we get another fragment, are we going to get one even smaller than her? They're just going to continue to become more and more lolly. Each has a unique personality. I thought it was just Tomoe copies. Huh. No! No! Blue hair Tomoe! Wow. She's so tiny! She's so tiny! Komoe. Did we even name the last one? We didn't, right? We just acknowledged it as Tomoe's fragment. I don't think we've ever called it by its name. It didn't have a name. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Does that means she's our baby? Yeah! We combined our mana together! I'm your papa! Papa. <laughs> Mio still having beef with children will never get old. Oh, Liddy? The strongest orc guy? Forest Ogres has also joined, right? Right? Oh, they have. They've been facing Tomoe and Mio. So beyond the Alki, maybe the Forest Ogres are also kind of like elites? I'm not sure. Are the four, am I overestimating them? Are the four, four stokers even stronger than Liddy or the strongest like the orc? Mm. Poor Edis. She can't fuck around anymore. What? I'm gonna eat these yellow things and kill myself. She's just being corked out of her head as usual. Just banana. Oh, it tastes so good! Because, like, bananas doesn't exist in their world, right? Because a banana is, like, earthly product, just like persimmons, right? How much do bananas sell for? Tame them? Tame? No, you said tame. All right, they're way too, um, underleveled right now. Yes, you did. Alki? Oh, oh my god, the spiders are fucking cracked. 
<laughs> Yo, who trained her? Who coached her? She's fucking just straight up just walking up to the door. Are you? She's already on to like level three when we just met. Oh yeah, you want to buy this product now? <laughs> She's jumping the NPC dialogue lines too quick. <laughs> Alright. Oh? Is this our Ambrosia store? Are we gonna shoot on his weapons? Oh, I bet he can. Yeah, we're gonna fucking fix it up for you, make it better. How? Damn! Oh my- Oh, Jesus! She's flexing now. She's fucking flexing now. Yeah, we don't need to pay because everybody just saw it and they're gonna come to our store and spend more money than whatever it's gonna cost that knife thing. Very smart. Even the potion? <laughs> this is the best advertising, dude! Just one gold? No way! Affordable prices! These are all paid actors, too. These are all paid actors. So cheap! So all synchronized. Free snacks. Cheap prices. Beautiful women. What's there not to like, man? This place is great. Oh, by the way, we got dwarven weapons, too. Jesus Christ. That was so fucking quick. Oh. Hey, you were just shitting on, you know, the demi-humans here. What are you talking about? Aqua is pretty hot. <gasps> oh, I forgot about her. We kicked her in the ass. Uh, no, Tomoe need her in the ass. Remember? And this is the uh, the fanboy mage that just fucking teleported away. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Rembrandt too. Okay. Wonder how much stronger this guy has become because he's straight up Tomoe is like servant, it's her spy. Hmm? Both humans and demons. Yeah, you 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 killed them all. What do you, 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 you mean? Yeah, you did that. So like does he not realize that he did this right now based on this monologue of annoying them but you in but you unintentionally wiped out both sides yeah i wonder if he has any sense of like guilt the fact that he actually killed you know whoa 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 whoa, whoa. presence of two other people from my world who were known as this is the- oh, also, also, my bad, guys. My bad, my bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. Hold up, hold up. Sorry, sorry. Let me just do that real quick. BALD! BALD! But... Other heroes. So this is the first and the second disciple of the goddess, or no? No, no, no. They gotta be, if they're from my world, from Japan. They are the goddess's summons. What the fuck is this dude drilling? Okay, some silver haired dude with the red and blue eyes with like a lance and a knight and a girl. Okay, so the first and the second disciples. So like, why did they pass the initial test from the goddess and not us? Like, all people from Earth are ugly compared to humans, right? The like, humans of this world. They were hotter. So even though they are from Earth, because they were aesthetically a little bit better, well, technically, like, really hot people from Earth, right? Like, 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 technically, really hot people from Earth are just as hot as humans. The humans just, you know, their floor, right? You know, the base level of attractiveness for humans is already so attractive. So, it's not that people from Earth are ugly. Some of them definitely are. But some people are also very attractive. And, you know, over here, they were, become, they were like, all right, you're like an at least like a 7 or 8 out of 10. The goddess is like, ah, good enough. Here's some powers. Basically, yeah. Interesting. Season 2 enemies, man. <laughs> Naturally, I wouldn't meet them for a while. Yeah, when, when, when? Season 2, episode 8, 9? What is it? Dad, mom, you ever gonna visit? She did make her cry. <laughs> I want it to be more terrible, to be honest. I like it when he's fucking just unhinged and angry. Oh, little Emma. We're gonna end the episode with Makoto and Emma? <laughs> Emma smells nice. <laughs> Wait, we did start the season with meeting Emma. Are we gonna end it with Emma? 
Oh, well, season one recap right now. <laughs> She's still eating a bananas, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we're going back to the the funny, you know, Tomoe and Mio little banter. And that's the ending, man. Moonlit fantasy. You see the moon right here? That was a good 12 episodes. We fucking marathoned that. And in the beginning, it felt like I couldn't make a connection to this series. Like, maybe it's because I've already seen Reincarnated as a Slime and so many other Isekais. And obviously, Skimichi Moonlit Fantasy was like the OG that Slime took inspiration from. And I'm not going to call it mid, but I didn't think that it was like my favorite Isekai. That all changed in episode 11 when Makoto just basically went berserk and we, we just saw like a hostile side and even like today's episode too, right? Versus the the two the adventurers that side with the demons and like even the foreshadowing ne next stuff with like these like heroes, right? And getting more of the goddess stuff. Now I'm getting a lot more invested. It did take a little bit to cook, but I thought that this show was very fun to watch. It's very cozy, comfortable, until some shit started happening, starting from like episode 10, you know, 11, 12. Goddamn, the last couple episodes of this season was fucking lit. Now, I know that season two is going to come up, but who knows when. And until then, I guess we're going to have to wait. Psych, there's already four episodes out. Technically, fourth episode out will be out. Well, it's, if this gets uploaded on YouTube, it's already going to be out. But anyways, we have four more episodes of Moon Fantasy to catch up on. And then we're going to get started on probably So I'm a Spider, So What? So look forward to that, guys.